Hey guys, how's it going? Caprain here. Today I want to give you guys uh, my first really good experience with Mindbreaker. Now this is a card that was a bit difficult to understand. We didn't really see how much play the new hero cards would get. And uh, in addition to that, uh, we also learned it doesn't really work in a lot of the adventures. So the use was kind of questionable, but I have found an excellent spot for this card in my arena runs. It seems that a lot of the strength of some of the more popular classes is from their hero power. Mage is actually not all that threatening when it can't ping for one damage. Rogue is not all that threatening when it's planning to, but you know, can't weapon up on a very specific turn. All these things come together to make this card pretty useful, and from time to time, it is one of those cards that's capable of winning you a game, and it's a pretty decently statted early game card on top, making it pretty premium. I think the highlight to come will show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, and maybe you'd be a bit adventurous and try the card for your own in your next arena run. Enjoy the game, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Keep Fuck it, let's greet it. Greeting. Okay, looks looks pretty bad so far. I'm not gonna find it. Beetleberries, my favorite. I think keeping that alive is pretty important here. Because we want to play the uh, Divine Shield guy. Let's see how it works out. This jungle hides many secrets. Winners move. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Same thing, we're pushing. The circle of life is over. Damn. Doesn't work so well on that. And we got the elemental trigger going. Take your medicine. Mindbreaker can be pretty good. Citing this situation here. Damage do I have? Mm. Oh, it's, I think it's exact two turn lethal. And now it's two over on a two turn lethal. Whoa! Okay. That was good.